new moon draw planar, new dunu planar, and also new 7 hertz headphones? All this and more in today's episode of Bite Size Audio. Hey friends, Tim here. Welcome back to another video on Giz Audio. And today we have another episode of Bite Size Audio, a new series that we do on this channel to cover all the latest new interesting releases. And today, wow, do we have a lot of interesting things coming out. Let's just hit the list and jump into the first one. And the first one we have here today is a Moondrop Planar IM. That's right, Moondrop is jumping in to the Planar game. Needless to say, everyone is excited. I'm excited for this unit right here, the Stellaris, right? 14.5 millimeter Planar IEM. It's beautiful. I like the design. Reminds me of somewhat like the Starfield type of look, but you know, a little bit tweaked, of course. No graphs or pricing available for this unit just yet. So this is all we have is this one picture right here. Knowing Moondrop, at least we can expect a really well-tuned set. Detail and resolution wise, we have to see where that fits in the market. And again, what price point this is gonna play around at. But if I were to guess, I would say it shouldn't be more than 300, seeing that all the other planars are around that price under 300 so if Moondrop wants to compete they are probably gonna price their IAM around 150 to 300 this range that's just my prediction though could be totally wrong speaking of Moondrop there's another release coming from them arguably a lot less exciting this one is just the type C version of Moondrop's quirks yes you no longer need a dongle for the quirks you can plug it straight into your phone that's cool, I guess. Next on the I am hype release, we have a do new planar I am. This one is called the Talos. And again, no graphs available for this one just yet, but quite a few pictures. You can see kind of like a water droplet shell shaped design here. I quite dig it. It looks really well constructed as well. And coming from do new, that's kind of to be expected. And as you can see, this is not just any old planar, this has a tuning switch as well. If I were to guess though, it's probably a base switch, something similar to the SA6, but again, that's just my speculation. Could be totally different, but yeah, looking forward to this Dunu release as well. No price confirmation just yet, but looking at it, I would say, maybe two, three to $400. Dunu is definitely not shy from, you know, pricing something extremely high, but if they want to stay competitive, I think they would price it around two to $400 at maximum. The reason I say two to 400 is because of the tuning switch. That makes an IEM a little bit more expensive to construct than ones without. So it's gonna be a little bit more pricier and also is from Dunu. Next I am to talk about is the new 7 Hertz Timeless Mark II. Yes, and I'm sorry, but this, <laughs> this picture is actually not the Timeless Mark II. This is just someone's custom made Timeless, all right? I think it looks hell sexy though, the white and the gold. I, I really love the look, but no, this is not the uh, Timeless V2. The Timeless V2 actually has no picture yet. It's just something that the 7 Hertz team have been working on and they have exclusively told me that I can share it in this news video. Needless to say though, I'm excited because the original Timeless broke the market. Hopefully the Timeless V2 at least improves upon the original. I don't see them breaking the market again. I really don't see that happening, but at least improve upon the original. I think improving the shell shape would be good as well. I know a lot of people have complaints about the shell size being a little bit too big, QC issues and all that as well. So hopefully in the Timeless V2, they address all of those issues that you guys have with the original one, which when we're talking about 7 Hertz as a company, I'm pretty confident in that. Next IM is from Blonde, Apothe themselves. This one is the Z200. Now this one I think was covered by HBB though he didn't graph it yet. So we don't have a graph for this or at least if there's one, I wasn't able to find the graph for this. It comes in at $21, which is a good price, but it's also now a dangerous price because a lot of really good IMs live there in $20 now. So Blonde, must have something up their sleeve in order to compete. I've not tried the IEM, of course, but at $21, I think I'm gonna buy one here real soon and do an impression for you guys. 
On to headphone news. We have three new Moondrop headphones. Yes, I know the news has been out for about a month, but for those of you who may not know or missed the news, here you go. Three Moondrop headphones and their graph. First one here, we have the Moondrop Void, the cheapest one coming in at $200. This one is said to be released now, but I've yet to find any store that carries it. I really want to try, can't find any place to buy it though. The next one is the Moondrop Venus, set to be released August 1st, so it should have been released by now. But just like the Void, I found no stores that I can buy it from. Maybe it's exclusive to just China right now. I have no clue. But on the Western market or in the English speaking market, I could not find a place to buy this. Moondrop, please release it to the English market. We're waiting. And last but not least, we have the Moon Zero. Yes, another Zero. Stop using this. You know, it's overused at this point. But yes, the Moon Zero, the most expensive one, $1,000. Not yet released yet. I think it's an electrostatic headphone as well. So yeah, I'm excited to try all three of them because I do trust in Moondrop's quality and they're tuning quite a lot. And judging by the graph, looks decent enough. I want to give all of them a try and see how Moondrop fares in the headphone world. We know they do extremely well in IEM, so let's see them run with the bigger boys in headphone land. And the last headphone news for today is from, again, 7 Hertz. They're working on two new headphones, one dynamic driver and one planar, I believe. No prices yet and also no graph. Just an announcement that they're working on two new pairs of headphones. So we'll see where they go with that. Same statement that I gave about the moon drop. I know 7 Hertz does well in the IAM world. Let's see what they can do in the headphone world. Next, we have a few sources that got released recently. Now on this channel, I don't really review a lot of sources. So here are just all the new products that have been released in the past couple weeks or so. I'll leave a link to all of these in the description below if you guys want to check this out by yourself. I know there's a lot of you guys out there who love DACs and amps and sources. So if you guys are interested in these products, I'll leave a link to those down below. And to wrap up this episode of Bite Size Audio, we have the giveaway section. Now, I haven't found a lot of giveaways to mention in this video. The only one that I can find is from HBB. That is the Mahina giveaway. I'll leave a link to that down below. But that's it. That's all I've been able to find so hopefully in the next episode there are more that i can grab and share with you all right that is it for this news video today thank you so much for watching i'll leave all relevant links to any of these information if i can find them in the description below so you guys can read more about it or find more information on your own time and uh, with that being said i'll see you guys in the next one peace out bye <laughs> Ooh.